Hey guys, so today I've got a really exciting announcement. I've just launched my Fusion 360 for beginners course and it's now available to buy on my website. I leave a link to it in the description below where you can find out a lot more about the course and the course contents and all that stuff. So there are two main reasons why I decided to make this course. And I'm not gonna hit you with any marketing crap. You won't get that from me. I always like to be transparent and just honest. So the first reason is that I genuinely wanted to relay this information to other people like me. So around a year ago, I got into the 3D printing hobby and you know, it was great for a while. I would go onto Thingiverse, get other people's models and you know, watch them come to life with the 3D printer. And that was great, especially when you're starting out. It's great to get experience with. But after a while, I started to get a bit bored of printing other people's models. And I always wanted to create my own models and then watch them come to life, right? And basically, at the time, I didn't know a lot about CAD. I'd done a little bit of CAD back in school a long time ago. But, you know, software moves so fast. If you're not up to date, you can fall behind pretty quickly. I wasn't sure where to go because there's, you know, there's free packages out there, CAD packages. There are also moderately priced ones and there are very expensive ones. In the end, I decided to go for Fusion 360 because it's free for hobbyists and startup companies. If you're a business, you have to pay for a license. Or if you're a student, you can get a three year education license. And I felt that was right for me and also, you know, my audience. And Fusion 360 is really blowing up pretty fast, especially due to, you know, the explosion of the 3D printing hobby itself. And the reason that's happened is because it's so user-friendly. It's, it's much easier to use than a lot of other CAD packages. And that also made sense to me when making a 3D modeling course. And the main goal was to break people into CAD. So the course I've made, it isn't an expert course. It, I don't cover every single thing in Fusion 360, but what I do is get your foot through the door. And I've taught some of the most essential things that you need to do that. One of them is parametric modeling, which is extremely important. And it's a really good practice to use when 3D modeling and I, a lot of courses today just don't implement it at all, which I think is disappointing. But I've included that in mine and also a lot of other things to do with, you know, just good practice in general and things that will make your life much easier as you start to learn and move along in your 3D modeling journey. Honestly, what I've done is created the course that I wish I had one year ago and when I had to learn, you know, I did it by Googling and just, it took a long, long time. There was nothing really structured out there that taught me what I wanted to know in one go. There are five design projects in total and each one kind of covers some different tools and introduces some new things as we go. And I felt that was the best way to teach it was to do some practical examples. And I find personally, that's always the best way to do anything. So the second reason is that I want to make this channel sustainable long term. And I know a lot of you are here because of my free content and the free videos that I upload. But in order to make this sustainable, I need some form of income. And you know, if you're here for the free stuff, don't worry, it's not going anywhere. You know, from January, I'm going to be uploading twice a week. And that includes 3D printing, CAD, and some electronics as well. But you know, going forward, I want to do this full time. What I want to do is continue to educate people online and, you know, promote the 3D printing hobby itself. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I have some form of income. By purchasing the course, you're investing in the channel. You know, don't think of it as, you know, you're throwing me £100 and I'm running away on holiday. That's not the case. What will happen is that money will be invested back into the channel and ultimately it'll result in more free content for both you and everybody else. You know, if I was able to do this full time, I'd upload multiple times a week, but you know, I work a full time job, I'm an engineer, 
and everything I do here for free is just done in my spare time and I get paid next to nothing to do that so I'm literally just doing it for free um, YouTube sometimes run ads on my videos the money I get from that is so small it's not even worth mentioning but hopefully you know you can see why I've done this and maybe it'll encourage you to purchase the course and invest in the channel maybe not I'm not going to pressure anybody into it if you are interested in the course and what it has to offer it's there if not stay tuned for the free stuff here on YouTube and thanks for watching I hope you go check out the course and I'll see you in the next video